Boop. There we go. That was the button sound effect. That was the button. <laughs> okay, this one's a really interesting one. Um, it's, would you rather play the lower-end Japanese RPGs or the lower-end Western RPGs? And if you don't mind, I would literally like to go first. Um, you know what? Whatever, fine. Okay. Japanese RPGs easily is my answer, and I'm going to tell you why. Okay. I could get through some really low-budgeted Japanese RPGs or some really silly ones with bad stories or or just for the battle system to play it. And most of the bad ones are mostly NIS, and I can get through them, some of them. I don't know how I you can. Get... I can't even get through NIS. Please. Yeah, I, <laughs> let, me refer... let me say that it's hard, but I can do it. Lower-end Western RPGs, mm -hmm. I can't. I can't even play the first hour like, what, what, with games what like... What the lower-end Western RPGs? Lower... Okay, you ready for this? Two Worlds, Risen 1 and 2. Uh, Any game in that category... Mm -hmm is absolutely the, the, the worst. It's games that are... It's so bad that bad games make those games look good. And I'll tell you why. Because... The, or backwards. Um, those fucking games are so boring. And that's the biggest thing. Obviously, there's worse movies than Batman Dark Knight Rises. Yeah. But Batman Dark Knight Rises is the most boring fucking movie I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> so it is so bad. You've seen a lot movie. of exci exciting movies your entire life. I'd rather I, watch fucking Transformers 2. I'd rather do no, that. And I, no, I, I don't know. No. Dude, dude, you're going listen, too no. far, listen, James. I'm, listen, is, you're going listen, too far. That is blasphemy. You are, you are know, exaggerating. Rises. No, listen, listen. I know Rises is the better movie. I'm not stupid. I know it's better in every single way. But Transformers, I'm so I'd rather see Optimus Prime fight than see Batman with his horrible fight scenes. What? And terrible you know dialogue. With Bane in the sewer, horrible. That was so One intense. One of the worst battle fight scenes I've ever God, seen in, on. Movie. No, the Bane fight scene is amazing. I, I was watching a Steven Seagal movie, and that's what that reminds me of. You are. Just, that's up there. You know what? You, sir, are just trying to get a reaction out of everyone. Right. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. We're, we're, we're going way off topic. Okay, so back to the question. No. Japanese RPGs. I can survive bad ones. I can't survive Western RPGs that are... Anything that isn't at least a Fallout 2 is just not working for me. I'm sorry. Fallout 2? Yeah. You mean like New Vegas or just like original Fallout? Before? I'm sorry, not Fallout 2. Yeah, New Vegas, which is good, but glitchy as fuck. And but I still like. Dude, it. I thought New Vegas was better than three. You are absolutely insane. But um, no, well, let me put it this way: Vegas had a much better story. You say uh, you say tomato. I say Dark Knight Rises is better. No, but. Are you seriously going to say that Vegas ran better than 3? I mean, but Vegas... No, it, it definitely didn't, event. but it was just a much more engaging game. It was a much better story, yeah. But 3 was still, at its time, one of the best games ever created. I, I think... Let me let me jump in on New Vegas real quick. I think the thing with New Vegas was... It, ha it was that game that had so much ambition. It had a lot going for it. The main problem was the execution itself hurt. And I don't What's mean that? in terms of execution... In terms of, like, you know, they didn't do things right. Like, story missions and things like that came out good. I mean, like, in terms of how glitchy that game is, how buggy it was, that type of shit. It's a technical mess. It was... Yeah. And it, that's every single Obsidian game, with the exception of South Park. Yeah. Which, by the way, it's an amazing game. But, um... But, yeah, so that's my answer. Okay, somebody can go now. I'll go. Um, so what... It was low-budget games, you said? Yeah, like, lower-budget... like, low-quality, low it sounds like. Yeah, low qual yeah, low quality because there's some low budget games that are really good. I I can't. Okay, so low budget games um you know in terms of good ones, you know, um a lot of western companies are doing a lot of like cool little things, you know, like playing homage to classic JRPGs like there's a game that just it's been out for a long time, but it just came out in HD. It's Pure Solar. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, Pure Solar is... Now, a lot of people mistaken it to be a tribute to 16-bit RPGs. Mm -hmm. It's a tribute to specific a specific type of 16-bit. And that's mostly Turbo Graphics and uh, Sega Genesis RPGs. Because it's done in the style of, like, say, Lunar. If you look at those games compared to Super Nintendo RPGs, there's a very high stylistic difference. And that mm. game pays homage to those. So in terms of that, that's great. But in terms of just shitty, like, low-budget, like poor quality titles. I can't play anything from any 
any genre, whether it's <laughs> yeah, JRPG. Really, I'm gonna just, I, I don't mean to sound lazy, but I have to just agree with you because, <laughs> you know, you can say you can say that you rather play a shitty JRPG rather than a game like Two Worlds, but I don't think that's fair because, like. Most of the shitty JRPGs are at least playable. Two worlds in most games like have really like game breaking bugs and things like that. All right. Well, this is the curse of a reviewer where I have to play everything I can get my hands on, and there's just some bad Japanese RPGs, but I can really play them. I, but I, I just can't play some of these fucking terrible. I played Dragon Quarter longer than I played um, Two Worlds, and I mean Dragon Quarter. If either of you have played, is Absolutely, like the worst Japanese RPG game. It's ever a dishonor to a great JRPG series called Breath of Fire. Oh, Breath yeah, of Fire. Yeah, that was dude, it. I still have Breath of Fire three for the PC. I mean, great PlayStation. Game. Oh, great, great game. game. Yes. <laughs> but not not Dragon Quarter. That game was a piece of shit. Dragon a Dragon. Uh, not Dragon. Fucking dragons all over the goddamn place. <laughs> Breath of Fire one through four. Great, great, great games. Dragon Quarter piece of fucking shit. Yep. The end. Totally I, I, okay, I so. like how intense you get. Like you go from like you know nice dude to like Simon Cowell, just like <laughs> fucking utter garbage. I I I do. That's uh, I don't know. Go watch my channel, man. That's how James and I met. Uh, J- you should see my rants, huh, J- James. The rants are the best. Be like, <laughs> be like. So and then I'm like, fuck this shit. I'm like, oh. you know, I'm just, I'm kind of surprised. We all seem to have like pretty agreeable opinions. Like there weren't any intense fights. Well, Dark Knight Rises versus Well, Red you just... <laughs> you know what? We don't need to get into okay. this, alright? So I guess we answered this question. This one's going to be a short one. Yeah. 